All right, so I just want to talk to y'all real quick. So, uh, what do y'all think? Because in my humble but strong opinion, um, I know I'm not rushing to go back out and run into these restaurants. A lot of people um, are excited, um, but the governor announced they're gonna be opening restaurants on Monday the 11th, and then opening up hair salons and barbershops on Friday the 8th. It's gonna be interesting. Because what if they open up? They said they open up like the surgeries and um, the stuff was allowed on May 1st and then retail shops got open on the 4th, some small ones. Um, I'ma just say everybody needs to watch Explained Coronavirus on Netflix. Watch that. It will give you a good idea of what possibly could happen and the reason why people should just stay quarantined self-quarantine and stay with the shelter in space a little bit longer like two to three months longer um, with limited openings of a lot of stuff and limited capacity because they're opening up restaurants full capacity they said they're just going to encourage employees to take pre-symptom tests when they come into work and then take tests when they're leaving work um, or take tests when they come into work and then they're going to encourage social distancing in the restaurants and encourage you not to stay in a restaurant for a very long time but that don't really mean a lot because y'all know if you've ever been out and you waited for a table, people will sit there and talk for an hour and it takes, what, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how big the party is, how much they're ordering, but 15 to 30 minutes from the beginning of, hey, I'll come back, bring you some drinks, what you want to drink, I'm going to come back, order, so you get your food within like 15 minutes and then take you about 15 to 20 minutes to eat, pay your bill, so you can be in a restaurant for 30 to 45 minutes um, but people will be there for an hour and a half hour hour and a half two hours because they're talking we're gonna see how that happens um, but restaurants are open up to 100 percent that's not smart barbershops and salons i figure those places are going to be doing more probably appointment only and then um which it will be smarter if they want to but y'all should watch coronavirus explained on netflix just watch that documentary if you don't have it ask somebody for their password or figure it out but watch that coronavirus explained on Netflix it is going to it breaks down how um, certain sicknesses and viruses happened before in the United States and then what happened and I think they were talking to like smallpox and how people were they reopened the place and um, too soon and the numbers spiked in death toll and then there was a place that reopened it was St. Louis they reopened and then they closed down immediately once they saw people still getting sick and their death numbers were a lot lower. The sickness, the viruses took a little bit longer to die off, but they didn't have as many deaths. Um, so we're gonna see what happens throughout these states as they start opening up slowly and open up different, opening up different services. But um, yeah, some people, I saw some different posts that said that they think Governor Ducey was pressured into opening up early. We'll see. Um, but I know he was saying that what the earliest places could open, restaurants could open, were like the May 12th or something like that, but then he just changed it to a day. It's May 11th for restaurants on Monday, May 8th for barbershops and hair salons. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, but they're opening the restaurants back to 100% capacity. Like, they're not saying, oh, you know, 25%, 50%. They're like, open it up fully and then just keep people at a distance, tell people to keep their distance. And I don't know how, I don't know how that's going to work, if that's going to work. So, we're going to see. Um, how quick are you gonna be to jump back out though? I'm not planning on jumping in anything um, super fast, I'm not tripping like that. I don't need to be out in the scene. Um, I'm one of those people that create the scene out here in Arizona. So I'm encouraging people to just chill. Keep doing FaceTime, keep doing Google Hangouts, keep doing Zoom, whatever you're doing with your people. If you are getting together with people, keep it to 10 people or less. If somebody is experiencing symptoms, you probably shouldn't be going out. You should be going to get tested. But yeah, man, y'all gotta be careful. But don't be in a rush to go out to these restaurants because, I mean, what it really, all this is gonna create people's awareness for your space, your personal space. And then we've always, I don't know, I feel like people have always kind of been aware of people. Like, you know, if somebody coughs or sneezes, you'd be like, excuse you, you know, or like, then that's rude. Nobody told you to cover your mouth or whatever. We always kind of had a sense of this. You stand in the grocery store and somebody's standing too close behind you in line. You're at the movie theater looking to you know buy tickets or whatever somebody's standing too close behind you you, you 
you know, we've had this since already, but now it's going to be hype um, as it should be if you're going out. So be careful. And that's how I open up movie theaters too at full capacity. But I think it's going to be up to the theaters to decide, you know, what they want to do. Y'all be careful. I know for sure a part of it is the economy thing. He wants to get money back going. You don't want people out of work like this for this long. It's unfortunate, but would you rather have them out of work for a little bit and then file for unemployment and getting paid using the system that's built, that's there, or would you rather have people getting sick and dying and cause them a whole lot more, you know what I'm saying, problems? I th and then also I saw that they were having a problem. Like people have been filing unemployment since March, but some people haven't been paid yet. So they're like, the system is broken, so y'all need to get back to work, is basically what they sound like they're saying. So be careful it's a risk definitely a risk but yeah so they, they said they're gonna have some guidelines for restaurants maintain physical distancing operate with reduced capacity but they just i just saw the news it was like they're going to have open capacity to 100 percent hopefully they don't do that um limiting limiting areas conducive to congestion or congregating um comprehensive sanitation protocols what is it these flies out here today um, continue to provide curbside pickup and delivery. We're going to see. Um, and then symptom screening for employees when they come into work. So salons and barbers, reduce occupancy or capacity, comprehensive sanitation protocols, provide uh, face coverings for employees and visitors, physical distancing and waiting in service areas, and consider operating by appointment only, which would be smart for a barber or salon or nail text and stuff so we're gonna see some people are anxious to get back out run to a barbershop run to a salon i need to go to a barbershop but i'm cool though like i'm cool i'm cool y'all be careful um take your time don't be in a rush also don't be panicked there's other stories coming out as far as covid19 or coronavirus saying that uh some of the numbers being reported in some states and on the news are false because a lot of people that have passed away have been, uh, they've just slapped coronavirus onto their death certificate kind of to pump up the numbers, to cause panic, to try to control the public with fear. So y'all be careful. Um, don't believe everything you hear on the news. I would say don't watch the news every day. Um, text up on the internet, read different stories, check different sources. Don't just get all your news from one source um, because you never know who's on the take and who's on the payroll and who's been told what to say today so read different stuff listen to different stuff check out different stuff don't consume your mind with all of this because it causes you to have anxiety it causes you to panic like i told y'all i'm not getting sick because i don't really get the flu it's very rare i've had the flu in probably like three years um and i don't get the flu shot um so watch your intake drink water um drink orange juice, eat oranges, take your vitamins if you take vitamins, try to eat a balanced diet, um, try to stay as active as you can if you can't go and run. Now, this is also something too. They're opening up all these restaurants and stuff, but they're not opening gyms because you can limit distance in the gym, limit so many people to come in during so much time, have people clean the machines in between, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. It's, they're gonna manage the economy how they wanna manage the economy. And obviously they want more money coming into restaurants and eating out and these shops and stuff like that. So y'all be careful, um, be safe, be smart. Don't be in too much of a rush and don't get panicked. Um, I'm telling you, do not get panicked because the facts remain the facts. If you have a compromised immune system, you're an older person or you're a younger person whose immune system hasn't been built up, you're at higher risk. Um, most people in middle ages are in moderate shape, great shape, or they can work themselves to get into good enough shape um, to not be at high risk. That's not to say that somebody that goes to the gym every day can't get coronavirus. Um, so be careful, because there's a lot of people out here that's losing weight, doing all this stuff, and they look amazing, but they can't run a mile. So that means internally, they're in terrible shape. They look good on the outside, but inside is terrible. And some people that to you may look bad on the outside, but they can run three miles and you can't walk two. So don't judge these books by their covers, but don't always believe everything that you read. Everything that glitters ain't gold, you feel me? So uh, y'all be careful if y'all going out, 
they're opening stuff up. And I said Arizona's going to be one of the first places to open stuff up at a limited capacity, I feel like, because I'm still of the belief that, um, knowing that a lot of people don't get the flu in the, in the summer. Um, so the heat, when it rises, is going to help. It's going to be 107 in Arizona tomorrow. I think tomorrow only is going to be 107. So we're coming around to that summer heat that's going to be kicking up. So the cases are going to go down. Even though Arizona is last in testing, I still don't see how they're choosing to open up. Um, yeah, but they're last in testing, and they say they're planning to try to open to test like 10,000 people this weekend or over the last weekend, the next few weekends, 10,000 each weekend. We'll see. Um, Y'all be safe, though. Be careful. Be aware. And, uh, man, connect with your people. Say hi, say bye, say I love you. And uh, be aware, man, because you just don't know how serious you're taking it and the lack of seriousness that somebody else is approaching this with. So it's like driving. You got to drive for yourself and everybody else. To be, to be on the defensive about it. Um, don't be on the hair trigger and be ready to flash and, you know, go off on the body and be an asshole. But just be aware and be able to directly and aggressively put somebody in their place and check them if they're being frivolous and careless out here. Uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all be cool. Let's do lunch. is coming back real soon at a good distance <laughs> with my guest. But, uh, yeah, look for that. Support just the Radio Network, My Radio Phoenix. Um, yeah, man, YouTube, everything Jones. Y'all have an amazing day. I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all know what I say, man. C-I-E. Yeah, that's my movement. Confidence is everything. Keep your ears to the streets. Your eyes on your homies. Your hard with guys. You can never go wrong. I am Jay Jones. I'll holler at y'all later. All right.